I want to give a special shout out to all my patrons first. Thank you so much to my Biblio Spren, Biblio Howlers, and my Biblio Mansers. It means a lot to me that you give me your extra support for my passion and hobby. Hi everyone, uh, Patrick here. In today's video, I will be, well, unwrapping this beautiful gift from The Broken Binding and also Ryan Cahill. So yes, this is uh, The Broken Binding Press Edition of, of Blood and Fire by Ryan Cahill, the first book in the Bound and the Broken series. If some of you haven't bought any books from The Broken Binding ever, this is how they usually, well, wrap their package. It's so beautiful, it's neatly wrapped like a gift or Christmas present. And I don't have the box with me right now, but I still haven't unwrapped this beautiful book. And hopefully this one will be as beautiful as I expected. I think many of you who have bought this book have received a copy of this one and you have put them on your bookshelves already, but I haven't and I want to showcase this book on my YouTube channel. So yeah, I will just begin right now. And first we have this beautiful coaster, The Gilded Dragon, which is a bar located in the, in the book and the series. And this is the back. And here's another one, Wyrm's Blood. Warning may cause temporary death. <laughs> the alcohol percentage is 92%. That is <laughs> insane. <laughs> Wyrm's Blood. Yeah, this is the back. And yeah, I think this is beautiful. I always drink coffee and I like to drink beer occasionally, especially a soju. And I definitely will use this coaster when I do that. And now it's time to unwrap this. Oh, hold on. Sorry, the broken binding. I know that this is neatly wrapped, but I'm going to destroy this. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Ta-da! Hold on, I'm gonna throw this away. And yeah, so this is Of Blood and Fire, the Broken Binding Press Edition. and. For those of you who don't know what the Broken Binding Press is, the Broken Binding Press is a division from the Broken Binding which will specialize in publishing a high-end edition for indie and sub-published fantasy books. And the first one, the first title of theirs is A Blood and Fire by Ryan Cahill. And yeah, this is the beautiful cover art. You might not be able to see the cover art properly here because this actually came with a protective of plastic to cover the cover art and I think that's a nice thing. So I will showcase a different clip for this one. I will just show you uh, the cover art with the plastic taken off from the book. So this cover art is done by Nemo Art. I think Ryan Cahill did a fantastic job in choosing this cover artist as his cover artist for this book and for the rest of the series. And this is the spine. You can see it's beautiful. Look at the gold put on the black color here. And this is the back cover. I always love when the front and back cover art I actually utilize as few typography as possible. Sometimes it's even better if it's empty. And yeah, like this one. There is no typography on the front cover and I think it makes the cover art looks more striking. And in a similar fashion to Brandon Sanderson's Dragon Steel Leather Bound Edition, uh, this book came with the gilded edges. Take a look at this gold here at the top and also at the bottom. Now let's open the book. Ta-da, this is uh, the front and paper. It came with a map of Etheria. I think this one is done by the artist. It's named Soraya Korkoran. I think this is a nice map. I remember that Ryan Cahill wanted to uh, commission Francesca Beralt, but unfortunately that wasn't possible due to conflicting schedule, but I do think this map looks really great as well. And yeah, this is the naked hardcover. Look at the gold foil here. This is uh, of blood and fire. And this is the spine. And the back cover, yeah, I think this is to reflect a dragon egg in golden color. Now let's take a look inside the book and take a look at the artwork and the quality of the paper. Because if I remember correctly, oh, this is copy of number 1382, one out of 
uh, 1,500 numbered copies yeah, of a special edition of The Bound and the Broken of Blood and Fire by Ryan Cahill. And yes, this book, uh, this edition has been sold out now and I am fortunate to receive a copy of this one. Thank you so much to Ryan Cahill and The Broken Binding. The quality of the paper is actually really nice and yeah, I think this is done with a premium paper and also acid-free paper which is a huge benefit if you want your book to last longer. And yeah, I think this one comes with a new forward. I will read this uh, later. And let's take a look more inside here. Oh, wait, there's, that's my name. <laughs> you can see Patrick here. That's really nice of uh, Ryan to include me in the acknowledgement. I really love this series. And yeah, let's take a look further into the book. I want to see at the illustrations. This edition comes with eight new interior artwork and two of them are done in full colors and six of them are done in black and white. Yeah, the artists involved are Randy Vargas, Felix Ortiz, Aaron Cahill, again Felix Ortiz. Let's take a look at some here. Oh, this is the first one. Ta-da! This one is done by Randy Vargas and I think this looks absolutely beautiful. I love this one. I was quite involved in the art creation for this one while only choosing uh, which sketch to use and I'm happy that Ryan Cahill actually went along with the one that I chose. It wasn't an easy decision because all the sketch looks pretty good but I think this one turns out uh, the best. Although when it comes to Randy Vargas, I'm sure that he can nail any kind of artworks here. <laughs> and yeah, let's take a look further. Ta-da, this is the first black and white artwork. This one is done by Felix Ortiz. This is really nice. It's beautiful. Broken Binding did a great job publishing this one. Ta-da, oh, this one is done by Aaron Cahill, which is uh, Ryan Cahill's brother. And this one is done by Felix Ortiz. Beautiful, beautiful. Felix Ortiz is a great artist, a great friend, and I'm always happy to see more of his artwork being displayed on books. You cannot feel the paper here, but this is actually really nice. So far, all the artworks that I show, I don't think uh, any of them contain spoilers, so I think I'm just going to close the book here now because you know, I don't want to spoil anyone who actually take a peek at this one and then haven't read the book yet. Oh, but this one is safe though. I know that this one is safe. This is Ayla and Fe Fafnir. So yeah, let's close this one down. And at the back, we have uh, the end paper. And this one is again the map of Ephiria done by Soraya Korkoran. And you have this handsome guy here. So my overall thoughts on Of Blood and Fire, The Broken Binding Press Edition, considering that this is actually their first uh, printing and their first title for their high-end edition, I think this is amazing. The price for Of Blood and Fire, The Broken Binding Press Edition is £55. And you know, I think that's about $70 when you convert uh, $2 to US dollars. And that is a very fair price in my opinion. So many so many other special editions published by small press publishers are so much more expensive and I think when we're doing some comparison, let's say for this one, compared to Forge of Darkness by Subterranean Press, the price differences between the two of them are significantly huge and I think, uh, sorry to say this, but Subterranean Press, although I love the product published by them, but their prices can be super insane, especially lately. Forge of Darkness by Steven Erickson cost $300. And that's not the lettered edition that cost $1,500. And yeah, that is too expensive, especially the standard uh, edition. Their standard edition for $300, the specs is pretty much more or less similar to this one. Now I fully understand and know that publishers, traditional publishers require small press publishing to give them some profit as well. But at the same time, I do think that kind of pricing $300 for a special edition with a similar kind of specs compared to this one is just too much. It is done to gain more profit because they can, because it is Malazan and they know even though if they decide to mark up the price to $500, they will still probably sell out very quickly because using the price of $300, Forge of Darkness still sell out insanely fast. So 
For this kind of pricing, I think this is incredible. Applause to Broken Binding and Ryan Cahill for producing this kind of beautiful book. And yes, Ryan Cahill and the Broken Binding have confirmed that they will be continuing this tradition for the rest of the series. So the next one is The Fall, The Broken Binding Press Edition, the novella. And yes, I have seen some of the artworks. They look stunning and it might even turn out better compared to Of Blood and Fire. So thank you so much to The Broken Binding and Ryan Cahill for sending me a copy of Of Blood and Fire, The Broken Binding Press Edition. I love this one. I think it turns out as nicely as I expected and I look forward to seeing how the fall will turn out. If you did acquire a copy of the Broken Binding Press Edition of Of Blood and Fire, do let me know what you think about it. And also, have you read this book? If you haven't, I highly recommend you to start the series. It is incredible. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me today. Uh, do let me know once again what you think about uh, this book. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Bye-bye. Lastly, I want to say thank you so much once again to all my patrons who keep on supporting me.